Hi, I'm Coop, Alpine Product Manager with Head Winter Sports. And in 2015-16, we developed a new shell customization called FormFit. You might remember the last two years that we've had a liner customization system called the Perfect Fit Liner. And that liner continues and can be found in all the boots that contain the FormFit shell customization as well. Perfect Fit, if you remember, is a 100% customizable liner. It takes a mold of the shell as well as your foot, so you get a very exact mold uh, through the perfect fit system, but then we've taken it one step further by adding form fit. Form fit is a reformulation of the PU plastic that we use in the boots, and it gains a little bit more elasticity out of the plastic so that you can go ahead, heat that shell up, and get a good solid mold of your customer's foot. So let's walk you through the form fit process. The first thing you're gonna need to do the form fit process is gonna be a customer. Hi, Julia, I'm Coop. Hi, Coop. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The other materials that you're gonna need start with a boot oven. Now we provide a head branded boot oven, but certainly any other manufacturer's oven will work just fine for this process. In your form fit literature, you will find each specific time duration depending on what temperature that your oven is set at. The head branded form fit oven happens to be set at 80 degrees Celsius, so we'll be using a time duration of 12 minutes with this oven. You will also need, and I highly recommend, gloves. The buckles in particular will be hot when you pull your boots out. You wanna have some protective gloves to wear. Another uh, recommendation I have is going and purchasing as an accessory to our form fit system, a padding system. Now these pads can be placed on your uh, boot fit um, foot and these will add space in any particular area that you feel you need to have more volume through the customization of the process. Okay, so we've got our boots in the oven, heating up at 80 degrees for 12 minutes. 12 minutes just finished up. Uh, in most cases, you're gonna go ahead and put the liner in the shell and heat everything up as one unit. Uh, make sure if you are working with a custom insole that you do take that custom insole out of the liner before you put the boot into the oven. Certainly if you reheat that custom insole, you're gonna have some molding aspects go on with the custom insole that you're probably not intending. So now that we have the boot heated, we'll pull it out. I've got my protective gloves on. We've got Julia here in her ski socks. We've got her foot padded and the sock over the pads. So we're ready to go and get her into the boot to start the customization process. So we'll open everything up. Julia, we're gonna go ahead and slip that left foot down into the boot. And really what I like to have the, the customer do is start out by kicking your heel back aggressively. And then Julia, if you can go and reach down and grab each side of the liner, not the shell, just the liner so you don't burn yourself, and try and wiggle that heel back and forth, mm -hmm. really get that heel set. Feel like you're back there? Got it. Okay. From there, we're gonna go ahead and buckle up the boot. I'm not going to buckle the boot extremely tight. I'm just going to get a nice, consistent closure within the buckles. If you're really trying to make the boot bigger and trying to add more volume around the foot, then go ahead and buckle the boot aggressively, even to the point that it's a little bit uncomfortable on your customer's foot. That's going to really stretch the material more and you're going to gain more volume out of the boot. If you're using a more standard uh, foot shape that doesn't need a lot of volume, but you're just trying to get a nice, uh, concise and precise mold, go ahead and use a, a, a just a, a small level of tension on the buckles. I like to go ahead and buckle the top two buckles first with the power strap. Julia, go ahead and stand up for me. Flex that knee forward a couple of times for me. Okay, come back upright in the boot. Then we're gonna go ahead and buckle the lower buckles. Use your micro adjustments as you need to, to just get that medium, medium tension out of the boot. So we, now we've got both boots on. Julia, go ahead and stand up for me. I just want you to get into a nice, comfortable position. Feel like you're on your skis, maybe tracking down a cat track. Mm -hmm. Don't lean too far forward in the boot, just a nice, neutral position there. And we're gonna leave her in this position from about five to 10 minutes. Um, you can certainly give your customer a set of poles. Sometimes that's a little bit easier for them to hang out in. 
They don't have to be aggressively flexed in the boot. In fact, I like to keep them in more of a neutral position. One of the great aspects of form fit is we have not changed the structure of the plastic in such a way that it's not able to be worked on outside of the form fit process. So if you do need to do an excessive stretch to the boot, it'll hold that stretch extremely well. If you need to grind the boot, you can go ahead, get in there with a, a, a Dremel or a Fordham and get in a really good grind out of the boot. Uh, certainly, those are all aspects that a lot of specialty retailers like to do, and we don't want to dissuade you from doing that. So feel free to use any type of fitting uh, technique when you're working with the boot. The form fit is just another way that you can really customize that shell to your customer's foot. Check it out, use it. It's a great tool for you, and it will really make happy feet, happy customers to come back and buy everything else they need from you.